That's a good fish right there. There we go, girl. <laughs> This episode of Let's Take It Outside is brought to you by the Cayman Islands Angling Club and the Cayman Islands International Fishing Tournament. Every fishing tournament before this is just practice. In this week's episode of Let's Take It Outside, we're taking you on a tropical journey to the Cayman Islands. to rods and reels for this exciting adventure. The Sunset House on Grand Cayman is everything you dreamed of for a Caribbean dive or snorkel vacation. To its name in every sense, Grand Cayman fuses art with culture and nature with wonder to produce the perfect atmosphere. some underground adventure, visit the Cayman Island Crystal Caves, situated in the lush tropical forest in Northside, Grand Cayman. Cayman Island Crystal Caves is the island's newest nature tourist attraction. The Cayman Island Crystal Caves have been forming for millions of years. Fossilized shells and animal life in the caves show us that at one time, the mass now containing the caves was all located under the sea. There's so many different ways to enjoy the beautiful waters there, whether you're above it or 104 feet below it on a submarine. Not everybody wants to put on a wetsuit and tanks to explore the ocean reef. This is a great way, day or night, to go down under without even getting wet. Okay, so tonight we did something I've never done before. We went on the submarine Atlantis. I'm with Captain Enrique, and we were way down under. And as you can see, we didn't even get wet. We were over 100 feet down, saw a lot of different species of fish, schools of tarpon, beautiful coral colors. And tell us, how long have you been running the submarine? Me? Yeah. 23 years. Okay, I was glad you didn't say 23 <laughs> minutes. But we had a great time. He took really good care of us, and I highly recommend going on this adventure. I was 100 feet under the water, and my hair still looks really good. 
<laughs> I want to invite you to come and fish with us in the 2020 Cayman Islands International Fishing Tournament, April 30th to May 3rd. There's over $300,000 in cash and prizes up for grabs. We have prizes for lady anglers, junior anglers, and visiting anglers. Come fish with us and experience the great Cayman Islands. For more details on the tournament, visit www.fishcayman.com. I want to thank Avis and Payless Rental Car for providing transportation for these episodes of Let's Take It Outside in the Cayman Islands. This episode of Let's Take It Outside is brought to you by Minn Kota Trolling Motors, built to outlast, outmuscle, and outperform the most trusted trolling motor on the water. Hummingbird Electronics, with mega down and side imaging, fish have nowhere to hide, simply, clearly better. T.A. Mahoney's, your marine supply store, Tampa. If we ain't got it, quit looking. Freedom Boat Club of Tampa Bay. Enjoy the freedom of boat ownership with none of the headaches. What lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets. No more guesswork. Just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. We just walked in the door at Pirate Fashions here in Tampa, Florida, where I'm going to get geared up for Pirate Week in the Cayman Islands. Avas, me hearty. Ring me bell and ask permission to board. I'd love permission to come aboard, Captain. You may unclass the hook and enter. to transform you to be something more uh, piratical in nature. You don't have to film this. <laughs> to give ye a pirate name, and it shall be Misty of the Drunken Seas. That fits perfectly. So. Perfect. Captain Lee and Misty of the Drunken Seas. Arr! I'm here in the Cayman Islands for Pirates Week with the Bloody Bay Buccaneers. There! Buccaneer ladies. Arr! Kick 
kicking it off with Pirates Week here in the Cayman Islands. We're going to be doing some offshore fishing, some inshore fishing, some diving, some snorkeling. We're going to be doing it all, and let's take it outside. I hope you've set your course for Pirates Week Festival in the Cayman Islands, celebrating over 40 years of Cayman culture and the pirate ways. Thousands of people line the streets to watch the pageantry, the invasion, and of course, the kidnapping of the governor. And don't forget to drink a little bit of rum. Right now, we're celebrating the 42nd anniversary of Pirates Week right here in the Cayman Islands. We went in on the invasion, we kidnapped the governor, and right now, we're about to start the parade. Captain Black Terrence. Nautical Nelly, Salty Hawk. Ahoy mateys, Finlock from way down under. Blackheart on deck, where's the rum? Hey, you know, it's black bones. Black storm here. We are looking for the rum and the treasures. <laughs> Super Queen, guys. That's where he is. After a clap of thunder, we are ready to invade Georgetown. We are looking for the governor's coffer. They better surrender the booty because dead men tell no tales. this celebration we're going to be offshore fishing searching for those big wahoo mahi and some tuna oh. your whole crew to Pirates Week, there's something for everybody. Pirate grub, street dances, costume contest, sporting competitions, fireworks display, and of course, a pirate's favorite, happy hour. All you scallywags, don't forget to mark your calendars for Pirates Week 2020, November 5th through the 14th, Grand Cayman. We hope you're enjoying this episode on Let's Take It Outside in the Cayman Islands. on Crystal River is the place for Florida family adventures. Make memories while swimming with manatees. Scalloping is fun for all ages. Run a pontoon boat or paddleboard and spend time on the water. Parents can relax in the spa or play a few rounds of golf. The plantation offers southern hospitality with Florida charm. Reserve your family time on the river today. Children come from different backgrounds with different stories. They learn time-honored values like the importance of faith, hard work, and that an education is something no one can take away. They learn that respect begins with themselves and should be given to others. The Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranches, where kids learn, laugh, and dream with people who refuse to give up on them. With your donation today, we can give them a brighter tomorrow.
is our first day of fishing today here in the Cayman Islands on our trip. And uh, this is Captain Steven of Real Vibes Charter. You've got a really nice boat here. Tell everybody what we're fishing on first. All right, so what we have here is a 34-foot CV. One of my favorites. It'll get us where oh, we're yeah. going pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to head uh, out today, and we're going to mix it up while we're here fishing. And today we're going to be doing a little reef fishing, which means we really aren't going offshore and we get to be over the beautiful reef. What kind of species are we seeking out today and how are we going to be fishing for them? First of all, we, we don't have to go very far. I like that. That's cool. The, uh, five, ten minutes from shore and you're in good waters for snapper, grouper, you know, you get barracuda, amberjacks, whatever's around the reef feeding at the moment. See what our luck brings. Well, I'm pretty sure something good is going <laughs> to happen and after we wet a couple lines, we're going to jump in the water and get our fins and mask wet because we'll also be searching for some conch today. thing about fishing in the Cayman Islands is there is so much diversity. If you want to bend a rod for a few hours and not go all the way offshore, fishing the reef is the way to go. Fishing today with my daughter Hudson gave us the opportunity to bend the rod on quite a few different species from mutton snapper, Bermuda chub, grunts, parrotfish, grouper, and some yummy yellowtail snappers. The great thing is, we may have not caught the monster today, but we made memories that are going to last a lifetime. almost entirely surrounded by a coral reef that is home to an abundance of tropical fish. These ecosystems are hugely biodiverse, supporting all degrees of marine life from smaller bait fish through to the top order predators. This is what makes it an angler's dream in the Cayman Islands. Catch and release in the Cayman Islands reef fishing is strongly encouraged to avoid the depletion of stocks. And it's reassuring to know that the survival rate of release fish in shallow waters is extremely high. Be on the lookout for conch and lobster. In season, you'll have the opportunity to take a few home.
I'm Dennis Brownlee with Florida Insurance Center, located right here in our home state of Florida. We take great pride in our work, just like you, which is why we are dedicated to providing quality insurance products with outstanding customer service. For over 42 years, we have been treating businesses as people, not policies. That's why we specialize each insurance plan to fit the needs of every business. From home, auto, and boats, we got you covered. Protecting your business is our business. We're here for you. And remember, Florida Insurance Center is the trusted choice. For 28 years, the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation has been funding clinical trials across the nation to end childhood cancer. Cancer is the number one cause of death by disease among children. Only 4% of the billions of dollars spent annually are directed towards treating childhood cancer. Visit fishingfundsthecure.org to learn how you can help save the lives of children battling cancer. You can make a difference. This episode of Let's Take It Outside is brought to you by The Plantation on Crystal River, Florida, where friends and families come to stay and play. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, everything you need to take it outside under one roof. Cayman Islands Angling Club and the Cayman Islands International Fishing Tournament, celebrating 23 years of catching. Every fishing tournament before this is just practice. April 30th through May 3rd, go to fishcayman.com for more... Cayman Islands starts November 1st and goes all the way through April 30th. The great thing about the crystal clear waters of the islands is the conch are really easy to spot. Make a note though, conch may not be taken from any of the marine protected areas around the three islands. catch limit for conch taken in the open zones is five per person or ten per boat per day whichever is less conchs are native to the coast of the caribbean the florida keys the bahamas and bermuda the conch's main predators include loggerhead turtles, nurse sharks, and other snail species, blue crabs, eagle rays, and spiny lobsters. When diving for conch and lobster, always be on the lookout for the invasive species of lionfish. They may be pretty to look at, but they're dangerous to the touch. If your love for lobster has you planning a trip to the Cayman Islands, don't forget seasons December 1st through February 29th. All right, hey, my name is Josh Ebanks. We're out with Misty Wells. We came to do a little refishing, also stopped on the way in to pick up a few conks, and we were able to find 10 beautiful conks. So just to give you a little walk through, when we're cracking the conks, there's a special kind of notch on the conk where we, we break the shell and that'll get us in where we can detach the meat where it's attached to the shell and it's from it's after your second horn right in this little gap here and then once you've worked yourself a little gap you can use a case knife or a flat tip screwdriver and this is where you can start to see that the meat attaches to the shell and we just take our time to work our way down the center of the shell just, just releasing that meat from it. And if you've done it good enough, reach in there and grab that guy. And out goes your comb. After a great day on and under the water, Hudson and I are headed back to the Sunset House where their chef is going to cook our catch. Some cracked conch and some fresh Cayman style yellowtail. Mm -hmm. 
Chef Wilson is creating a Cayman Island treat for dinner tonight. However, it's a labor of love. You have to soak the conch in salty water for several hours, then tenderize the conch by pounding it with a mallet until it is smooth and tender. In my opinion, the only way to eat yellowtail snapper is Cayman style. Today, as you saw earlier, we went out reef fishing and we're here at the Sunset House and their wonderful chef and staff has prepared this amazing meal from our harvest right there in the reef. We have our yellowtail snapper prepared came on style and some amazing fresh cracked conch. We have their famous sunset rice and beans with some beautiful vegetables. And of course, what everybody needs, a nice cold drink to go with it. Thank you for tuning in for part one of Discovering the Cayman Islands. You better get plenty of rest because next week we're headed out to Stingray City, releasing turtles back into the wild, and headed offshore for some wahoo and tuna catching. Until then, remember, let's take it outside. Be sure to tune in next week for part two of Let's Take It Outside in the Cayman Islands where the fishing is on fire. I want to thank Avis and Payless Rental Car for brought. I want to thank Avis and Payless Rental Cars for. for Why can't I get it? You got the line down. <laughs> well, just give me one more. We try to just smile all. <laughs> <laughs> you asking her up? We hope you're enjoying this episode on Let's Take It Outdoors on the Cayman Islands. Let's take it outside. Let's take it outside. Yeah. Sorry. Right. <laughs> one more time. It's all right. <laughs> Having trouble getting the hook. It's all good. <laughs> it's just editing.